Hey guys, how you doing tonight? It's Crispy Reviewer here, it's Chris, and uh, just to start things off for this video, um, the fourth person who won my um, Sound Grenade Pro giveaway didn't reply me back right there. Whoa. His name was uh, Macintosh Madness, here are the four people. He never got back to me, so I had to go and pick a new one. A new winner, so I use random.org to pick a number out of 1 to 46, and I picked 15, and that is the 15th comment down right there. His name is um, XXXXJCVXXXX. I'll click on it. Uh, he what? He is subscribed to me. I checked all that. There he is, right there. So if that's you, uh. Just send me a PM and I'll send the code your way. And guys, um, uh, never mind, never mind. But yeah, that's that's the giveaway winner for the fourth promo code I have. So uh, xxxxjcvxxxx, get back to me, and I'll send the code your way. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get uh, into this review. Just lower my camera, zoom out. Do it like this. Oh, you know what? I need to macro this up real quick. Hold on. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, okay. Okay, so as you guys can tell by the title, this is the review of Archibald's Adventure. You can see it right there from Rake. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the developers are Rake in Grass. Very nice people. I asked for a code to their app and they happily said yes, so that's very nice. Uh, you can see it right there, a four-star rating, and you can get this one in the app store for four ninety-nine. It's actually on the uh, What's Hot tab, and it's uh, a little bit of the way down, about halfway down. So that's where you can see it if you want. I'll just click on it. They got a, uh, they just got some, um, like a description and everything, and then some screenshots. So that's basically where you can find it in the app store if you're looking for it. And there's the little uh, icon for it. It says Archibald right there. Just gonna click on that. Then you get this loading screen right here with this little skateboarding guy on it holding a little hourglass. You can see it right there, Rake in Grass. That's the name of the developers. This is just a little intro story to this. It tells you like all what happens and everything and how the story gets started, but I'll just tell you when we start the game up. Uh, as you can see on the main menu, you see Archibald's Adventure at the top. You have Play. Intro, Options, Authors, and Web. Intro is that little movie that I just skipped over right there, so I'm not going to click on that. Options, you got a good amount of options. You can change, these, change the sound volume. You can change the music volume. You can uh, do music from your game or your iPod, which is actually a very nice feature. I love it when games allow you to listen to your own iPod music while playing, so that's a very good feature. And also what a lot of other games don't have a setting for is... Um, this orientation landscape so you click on that and then you can play like this which is a very good feature I like being able to play games both ways if I feel like it um, show status bar that just lets that little uh, your battery and all that stay up there which is not a lot of apps do as well um, I'm gonna put this back to landscape okay and then language you can change it and I changed it for some reason alright back to English so I'm just gonna click back and then there is authors, and this just shows you a bunch of credits and everything, so that's that. And then web brings you to the uh, their little website, I guess. Uh, I'm going to click play now. And as you can see, I'll zoom in some more. Uh, there's two like sets of like story modes, I guess. There's trapped in the mansion and the great cleanup. You can see here 114 levels just for the first one which is like a crazy amount of levels that I've ever seen for any game. And then there's the Great Cleanup, which is 49 levels. Like, they could have taken the levels from these games and made like five different games. And each game still would have had a decent amount of levels. Like, this is a crazy amount of levels. It totals out at, uh, I believe it's 150 levels. Or 160. I think it's, yeah, it's like 160 levels or 170, I don't know. But that's a amazing amount of levels. So for five, for 4.99, about five bucks, you're getting, um... Just a ridiculous amount of levels. So I'm just going to click on Trapped in the Mansion. 
and you can watch the intro, which I'm not going to click on, but basically, you're in this little junkyard, you're skateboarding, and then you fall down like a little hole, and you're trapped inside this guy's mansion, and you're trying to get out of the mansion. And the mansion was like a mad scientist, like that guy right there. And his mansion just totally has crazy traps and animals and all that. So I'm just going to get into this real quick. Go to level 1. And uh, this just... The first about like 20 levels just teach you how to play in different strategies like that. Uh, if you go and see the question mark thing right there, you can go up to that little terminal computer thing. And a little hint will pop up. And uh, it'll give you a little clue on what to do for the next part. So just more tips and all that. You can jump over. Uh, basically how this whole game works is in uh, length of squares. So there's a one square, so you can jump up to a one square and jump down a one square. See, these are all one square, so I can jump up them. Keep on going. This little thing, if you die, you, next time, like, if you pass one of these things, it glows like that. And if you die, then you'll come back to life at the, at the last little glow thing that you passed. This little green stuff kills you if you hit it. And just keep skating, jumping over the one blocks, and that's it. So that's the first level, very basic. Um, now I'm just gonna jump to, I'll jump to the second page. As you can see, I only got to 10. I mean, I haven't really gotten to the unlock levels yet. I mean, that's how many levels there are. It's actually pretty crazy, but I'll go to level 1 over here. Because this is where it changes a little bit. Um, let's see what level this is. Okay, I shall show you. What they want you to do is get here... This teleports you up to here. You ride over here, and all right. So this is the first level that you unlock the um, little pink bubble that you get in this game. Oh no. Okay, so I'll show you about the bubble. What the bubble does? See the circle down there? You click the bubble, and now you control this little pink bubble, and your guy stays where he is. And you can move this bubble any direction, up, down, left, right, whatever. If you run into anything's pointy or any bad guys, your bubble will pop. And you can use it to click buttons like I just did, which opened the door for my guy. And I'm just going to pop the bubble. There, see, so I just pop the bubble. So, how this game basically works, you're trying to get around out of the mansion, and you control your guy or the bubble. Um, you can use the bubble to um, lift up crates. You can lift up these little bomb things. You can lift up basically anything that's only one square in weight, I guess. Um, oh, no. Uh, another thing what they do if there's like a three block like three blocks see one two three if I start right there on the third block right, that's three blocks then you get full like faster speed and you uh, can jump longer I think you can jump like three blocks or something like see I gain I hit the wall but I don't know but like you if you uh, ride for three blocks, then you go faster, basically. So you can jump longer gaps and get to different places. I'm just going to use the bubble and click on this switch up here. There you go. Pop the bubble. Go through the door. Go and click on the switch. Oh, that just landed on me. Let that fall. Jump up and beat the level, okay? It says level complete, and that's about it. Um, so like I said, I'm basically still in the training part of this game I guess because it says Brainiac's Mansion and this has m more hints so I'm still in the sort of learning levels I could I guess you could say I have to beat these four and then I finally get to the real levels and I'll just show you all the levels I mean and then you get the final battle which is like look how many look how many levels okay like that's tons of levels and I haven't even started on the expansion pack that they let out which is even more levels okay so that's crazy totally amount of levels just make just the amount of levels makes this game worth it the graphics are very nice very clean the music is pretty cool I'm actually gonna turn it down a little the very music is very nice just sort of a little beat going on in the background as you're playing a cool storyline good graphics tons of levels I'm gonna recommend this one guys go check it out like I said, $4.99 in the App Store. You can see it under the What's Hot tab on the main page. Okay, and uh, that's basically it for this review, guys. Um, still trying to get some more product. Don't know what's going to happen with that, but uh, 
stay tuned to the channel, guys. I'm getting more reviews out there, so stick around, alright, guys? Have a good night.